Victor Ogwenkari and welcome to another edition of Talking Sport. Today we are going to be doing a review of what happened in the game week 32 of the English Premiership and we are also going to analyse how English teams have been performing when it gets to Europe. I have some gentlemen in the studio, by my right is um, Wande Shokumbi, then I have Collins Ude Chuku. You are welcome to Talking Sport. Interesting week we had over the weekend and then some vibrant results. I would say, but the top four space has not still started taking the shape we would have expected to see. One day, what, what do you think? It still remains it has, it has remained the same way yeah. it was yeah, it's 30, 30, 31, mm -hmm. except the little shuffle between Arsenal and Mine. Okay, just mm -hmm. Arsenal and Mine, but Arsenal seem to be, I mean, Mine seem to be back to where they belong, the sixth position. I think they are fifth now. Yes, yeah. depending on when Arsenal yeah, plays yeah, tonight. Okay, okay. Yeah. and what, whatever comes out from that. Chelsea seem to be unstoppable at the moment. Do you think this is that season, Collins? Uh, yes, this is definitely Chelsea season because when you look at a team that is going to make a mistake, you can't see that in Chelsea. And the return of Tom Moses Lady have become him so awesome. Yeah. So they will have this long ride, and I don't think anyone is going to stop him for now because they will play presumed with difficult teams. So of course. I think. Regardless of whatever Conte is saying, I think this is their season. And yeah, 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 Conte seems to be playing some bind game. Bind it's game. not surprising, Claudio and then he did it last season yeah, exactly. also. When they still were winning all the matches, they were still saying they are fighting relegation, they are fighting relegation until they stroll to the yeah. top. But now, nobody has been talking about sports. Tottenham has been in fantastic form. Well, maybe to this season, they will finally finish maybe second. I know, they will definitely finish ahead of us now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is even more of a trophy for them exactly. than, than going second. First time in like 20, for like forever. Forever. Like we always say, the last record is when we have in our head, yes? Yeah. So but Asna, I mean, does Asna still, I don't know. Something is telling me this might be Asna's time to draw. As if this is the next game that is. No, no, I mean this season. It doesn't look like Asna is going to go all the way, you know? Over the years, they've been dropping, dropping, and then I think this season they are going to be caught at that place where as a young guy has always been finding himself in comfort zone. So I think. This season they might not so they might have a problem. make the top four if they continue at this pace. Would you like to see Arsenal drop from the top four? <laughs> I would love to see Arsenal. I really want to see Arsenal drop from the I'm not going to ask you one. Wait, wait, no, I'm not going to ask you one. I'm not going to ask you one. What I'm going to say is that if Arsenal drop from the top four, it's going to be a signal to the other Premier League team. Liverpool, no, Liverpool is a signal. No, what I'm going to say now is that when, once Arsenal drops, then it's now clear to the board that. Arsenal is not doing as we much and, and okay. there will be changes. Okay, but somebody, I, I gradually said recently that making the top four is a trophy. As Senegal has been saying this thing forever. But if, now that it's so close to the top four, it sees how difficult it is to get Premier League is very difficult. It's, it's very, very, difficult. very difficult. What happened to Liverpool? Liverpool without money looks to be. They played their first game after a very bad statistic. And they seem to play their first game against them, Stoke City, which would have been a very difficult game. Yeah, it was actually difficult. Yeah. But then somehow, somehow, they managed to scale through that one. Uh, well, I don't even want to say. I know you're not surprised. But, but as I said before, and I agree, I was saying, I still stand on that. This is Liverpool's big time to play. Big team. Stoke is a big team, so it's not a big game for Liverpool. Stoke is a big game for Liverpool. It's not a big game. They are big. They are big team <laughs> to any other Premier League. You, you, you keep ridiculing really Liverpool with their performance. When you, yeah. when you play your next, I, I think why are you playing next? I, the, the, I I'm not far. But, but then, whatever it is, whatever it is, this is a good sign that they can actually grind results. They can play yes. I'm going to I'm, you know, I'm get results. It's, I can say it was surprising because look at the first time it was devastating. The first time was, was very very poor. Of course it was. But, but the situation of uh, Coutinho and Femino changed everything. It but but that would have backfired. He was he was almost lucky. He actually thought that they were going to hold them to second half and it would start the magic. But it almost went the other it way. It worked a little bit and then we should thank Mignolet. Uh, and Mignolet seemed to be in top. Yeah, he tried. Yeah, wow. And it's the same song. He helped you guys. So is he qualified now to become the best keeper in Europe? I think he's better than the... <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, let us go to Spain. Barcelona, Real Madrid. A very, very tight two-horse race so as, it, as it is right now. But then, are you surprised? What is happening to Barcelona? The consistency seems to be... You treat as matter as well. The Barcelona are not the Barcelona we used to know. But they, they, are are very good. they are very good. They are very good. I feel like they are where they are because of help. External help. As you, the people that listen, you always need to open it, you're free. No, no, I, I'm not going to agree with that. You're not going to agree with yes, that? Yes, they have the players to make the best of the opportunities that 
Yes, yes. Yeah, and they've been doing that over time. But that they lost in um, their last game over the weekend mm -hmm. is a sign that there's something wrong with the national team. That, that they should only have in Malaga, for instance. Okay, let, let me just ask you this question. If we are going to get another footballer of the year, and it's not going to be Messi and Ronaldo, which club do you think is going to produce the next? I feel Barcelona. It has to be Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah. It, has yeah. to be it has to be Suarez. Oh, but, but so that shows you, that they have the quality. That, that shows the quality that yes. Yes. they have the quality for as example, individual players. They don't need the top man. They don't need the top. They don't need the. They've always had the top. The, the magic against PSG, for instance. Yes. They did not have. In fact, they had the team to save. What was, what was the what, what was the problem? The problem was that they determined to score six goals and they got six goals. They got six goals. Yes. So it's not that was a problem for you. I, I like that. This the penalty to Suarez, for Suarez was. Referees uh, make mistakes. Mistake. Yeah. But I think one of the greatest problems Barcelona is having now that makes them struggle this season is that if you look at over the years, they've always produced quality midfielders that mm -hmm. helps in the dominance of the play. Mm -hmm. But this season, you can't compare the quality in their midfield to that of Real Madrid. Is it because of the absence of Sami? No, because of one, if you look at Iniesta, he's already going down his yeah. age. Then you can't compare the Andre Gomez and Rakitic to Modric, Tony Cruz, or even Casemiro. So that means you should be careful when you're coming to get somebody from your clubs. Anyway. <laughs> 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 so somebody will bring the money. Uh, uh, but one thing we need to touch is uh, how England, how English teams perform. Like yes, I was actually going there. English team in Europe has been essential for me in close to a decade now. I, I must really, really say that whether you like it or not, Liverpool is still that team you have to record with. Because yeah, since that. Liverpool yeah, have not been going to Europe, it became a problem for English team to go all the way. But well, since Liverpool since stopped, stopped going, Man U has gone Man U, Chelsea, twice. Chelsea has won it. I've won it. So what are you saying? Guys? Let me tell you what I'm saying. Once upon a time, we used to have the four teams in Europe, I mean in England, qualifying for the quarterfinals and even semi-finals. Yeah, that was when Liverpool was present. Yes. You can hardly see two in semi-finals. In fact, in quarterfinals these days. Yeah. Uh, but I want to say it because no, no, no. I, I'm just trying to tell you how, how much the last team made it to semi finals. And who else did it? That's about all. Now we have Leicester. That, that's about this. <laughs> Leicester, well, good for Leicester. They've come all this far. But then I, I want us to look at something. The way the FA, English FA, are they really, really considering dominating Europe when it comes to you know football? When it comes to all the money, they seem to be making all the money. But it's not transcending to good results. Well, I'll just say that they are considering making money more than is the success of their teams. What, what, is the, what, what, what is the usefulness of playing four tournaments? You play the European football, you play the Premier League, you play the FA Cup, you play the Canadian Cup, and you won and they come and they what, what is And then it affects the people. When and it affects they them, and they don't perform when they get to the stage. Let's start, let's start playing on Sunday. Yes. I'm going to play on. They played, no, you forgot it. They played midweek. We, we, they, they played midweek. Yes, they played over the weekend. And now they're playing Atletico Madrid. Where they, what can we say? What are they doing differently from those that are in you know, Spain and Germany? No, firstly, they have more competitions. More competitions, one that one okay. can affect that. Then, secondly, they are not. I don't know if they, they don't want to do the same of it, that they are trying to help a team perform more better in, in, in Europe. But they should also look at the other, um, other leagues, okay. La Liga, and they yeah. help their team. So that yeah, exactly. The, the glory is more for the country yeah. than yeah. the team. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When you go, it is a representative we see. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but I, I don't know. What, what would you would you mind not having to watch um, Capital One next season? Yeah. 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 If I don't watch it, I, I, don't, I don't mind. I don't watch really. it. Really. So and again, England is the only place where they play yeah. in, the, in the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is another problem. Also, the have been clamoring for the break. Moya yeah. complained. As a regular, had the chair. Yeah. When when club came, says this is the first time we're going to see a winter football. And you know, uh, those from Europe, this from this, uh, I know this period now, mm. period like a very hot period. Like, even the relegation struggling teams playing good football to survive. Yeah. So yeah. and if you're now putting in the mix of Champions League and then Premier League, they play again in midweek. There will be there will be clash of interests. Manchester United will have eleven games alone. For this month of April, yeah, I would like to see um, old coaches or retired coaches from the Premier League go into not even just clamor, but it's one thing to clamor. Yeah, but then the people that are in the FA, those that head the administration of the if they go into those positions, they will be able to effect change. I don't say but if you are just clamoring from the outside, those ones they are pro, I don't even know if they play football. You, I 
Yeah. Okay, let, let me let me because of time. Let me just save um, the rest discussion till we meet again tomorrow to do a, a review of the Champions League we are going to have. It's going to be very very wonderful, yeah. and I'm sure that there will be upsets and there will be surprises also. Yeah, exactly. Whichever yeah. way happens for Bayern and Real Madrid, it's going to be an upset. Exactly. <laughs> Talk about Leicester City. Leicester City is going to be final. Final. <laughs> what I know you are. Why are you laughing? Not, it's not a fake call. Champions League final. Yeah, I'm sure. We are never. 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 Okay, I have to put my money on Leicester. <laughs> okay, now look at this. When Liverpool won in 2005, I'm not sure the team they had then was better than what Leicester has right now. Oh, they well, have, yes, it's the right, truth. Right, Liverpool does not have that quality yeah. of the likes of. Okay, look at what they played in the final. They played an AC Milan that had the, the likes of Kaka. Yes, so, they 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 comparatively, they but they still had quality. They still they had quality. They had Gerard, they had Alonso, they had Rissi, they had those. Combination of William, I mean King. Verdi, Marez, no, that quality. No, no, wait. Yeah, no, 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 they are always very They are basically offensive. In any how they play, wherever they play. So that will be a problem for Leicester. Okay, great. That's going to be a problem for Leicester. Leicester. We're going to see how it turns out. But the interesting thing is, we are going to get served, get the best of football. And that is what it's going to be. I've been talking to Colin with the Chuku and Wande Shokumbi on today's edition of Talking Sports. Thank you. See you next time.